Yo, this is Lefty's Logic. I'm here with special guest, my guy Ed. How's it going? So, yeah, he's normally uh, my uh, my against the spread buddy. Whenever we do some uh, sports bets and stuff, um, been out to Vegas a bunch of times. I thought I'd bring him over. So, so far um, in the last two weeks, I am five four and one against the spread. It's not bad. And uh, last week I went 2-1-1. One, and one. Um, and I got to say, uh, I'm not disappointed over the one loss and the one draw. It wasn't too bad. Um, the uh, loss included the uh, Kansas City field goal that bounced in the, that, that bounced off the rail and or off the post and then went in. So, I, I'll, I, you know, I'll take that. Whatever. So, we're going to come at you with some more against the spread picks. Um, this week, you got Kansas City at Atlanta. Atlanta's minus three and a half. I like Atlanta, the dome team there. Um, Kansas City's defense really showed out when they were playing against Oakland, at Oakland. But I think... Um, in, in order to get in the game, Kansas City had to have David Carr's uh, finger get do uh, dislocated randomly. And then they erased like a 17-point lead in eight minutes. I don't think that's going to happen again. I got Atlanta at home. I agree with you on that. I think Atlanta is just an offensive juggernaut. You've got Taylor Gabriel, who's you know really come alive the last two or three weeks stretching the field. They've got Sanu. They've got Julio Jones. Yeah. You know, they're an offensive juggernaut. Kansas City's got a pretty good defense, but I, what I think it's going to come down to is the fact that Kansas City is just not uh, offensively stable. I think Alex Smith is a guy that's going to manage the game. He'll manage the game pretty well. They're not a, they're not a flashy offensive team. They're not going to do too much on offense. They'll stay in the game, in my opinion, probably the first half, but as the game wears on, I think Atlanta's offense is just going to be too much for them, and their um, Kansas City's offense just isn't going to produce. Yep, I agree with you. I hate picking against dome teams. So, um, next game is uh, Buffalo at Oakland, minus three and a half. I think that's a steal. Um, number one, you got the East Coast West Coast thing. Um, if you don't know, um, whenever one team goes from from the from one coast to another coast, they don't perform as well. Um, look, look up some information on that. It's a real thing. Plus, you know, Oakland's going to be chomping at the bit after their loss to Can uh, Kansas City to uh, put, you know have a good performance. Um, what do you think? I agree with you on that. I think there's going to be some retribution uh, there for Oakland. I think they're going to try and come out hot. Um, there's a lot of positive things going on with Oakland right now. Uh, you hear all the analysts talking out there about how they are poised to make an impact and uh, a pretty good playoff run. I think they're going to rebound from this. I think Carr is going to, you know, come back ready to play, and I think it's going to be, um, you know, a game for them to win, um, especially at minus three and a half. So far, we got Atlanta minus three and a half, Oakland minus three and a half. Again, <clears throat> so. The third team, uh, the third pick, is the New York Giants at Pittsburgh. I got Pittsburgh minus six. Um, Pittsburgh is at home. Uh, this should be a shootout. Bet the over if you can. But um, Pittsburgh, you know, they're, they're at home. They're a good team. Eli Manning, to me, could be good. He could be bad. I think Pittsburgh is a touchdown better than New York than the New York Giants this weekend. I I actually differed with you on this one. I thought this game was not one of my top games to uh, pick, simply because Eli Manning might be really good. He might be really bad. He might throw for three hundred fifty yards and four touchdowns, or we might see him you know throw three picks and uh, not really do much of anything. Uh, same thing with with uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, some games they'll show up, they'll do some really good things. Some games, you know, Antonio Brown struggling to get three catches. 
uh, on the day. So for me, this is one that I kind of just would steer clear of, uh, not a game that I feel really good about either way. But if you had to pick, what would you pick? If I had to pick, I'd probably stick with Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh being at home, uh, you're basically looking at a touchdown if I had to pick. Okay. Now, here's a game that I didn't agree on. This is going to be my uh, upset of the week. Now, um, after all that, I just talked about uh, not picking against a dumb team. (laughs) You going to do it? Yeah. (laughs) So Detroit has been in close games all year. Um, Now they're facing New Orleans at home. New Orleans is a tough place to play. It's uh, going to be tough, but Detroit hasn't been blown out all year. Their defense is... A true West or their offense is a true West Coast offense, and uh, man, we should see probably man, I would say 800 total yards on the day. Like, these guys are just gonna be slinging the ball, Theo Riddick's gonna get off. I like uh, I like Detroit plus five and a half. Um, I do not like them losing by more than six points. I could go either way on this one. I think in, in a perfect world, this game should be, um, like you said, uh, 800 total yards. It should be a gunslinger's you know, uh, dream type of matchup. We should see both, both teams throwing for a ton of touchdowns, just racking up yards, racking up points. Um, but Detroit just hasn't really done much for me the last couple of games. You know, we've seen them play against the Houston Texans, haven't really done much there. Um, I think they also were under in the Jacksonville game as well. I think, you know, coming in to New Orleans, playing a team that is, has a lot of weapons as well. They've got a ton of weapons playing at home. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, I could see them easily losing by two touchdowns. Um, it sounds like you're talking about the Document Sioux Detroit Lions, the Calvin Johnson Detroit Lions. <laughs> Ain't that funny? He leaves and they start winning. That's hilarious. So, um, hey, hit us with the sub. Hit us with the like. If you want Ed back, you know, let me know. Maybe <laughs> I could, uh, you know, maybe I could get, maybe I could bribe Ed to do some against the spread basketball picks. Yeah, you might be able to do that. Uh, if you want to lose your money fast, bet basketball. Exactly. It sucks. <laughs> we got some stories. No, I'm just kidding. Now, Ed usually gets, I don't know, out of an 18 parlay, he usually gets like six right or so. Yeah. The, you still lose, though. Yeah. You're not making the money, so. So he's got to, you know, <laughs> just find which six. Which six are going to be right. Win. Yeah. Yeah. Find the six winners. Anyway, this is Lefty. This is Ed. Peace out.